Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Family Moments, where we use really cool object lessons that teach the truth about what matters most. Exactly. And today, we're going to have some fun with this. Skittles? I love Skittles. Who doesn't? It's only like the most popular non-chocolate candy in the country. Well, how did you know that? Trust me, Dad. I know my candy. Obviously. Then you probably already know that it comes in other flavors besides the original. Tropical wild berry and smoothies. Wow. She really does know her can candies. Hey kids, Pastor Robbie here, along with my lovely assistant and wonderful daughter, Sadie. Hello. And today, we're gonna have some fun learning about prayer. Prayer? Everybody knows about prayer already, don't they? Well, you might be surprised. Well, fortunately, I'm pretty good in that area. Oh, really? Because I just happen to have my handy dandy true false prayer quiz with me today. Oh? Yeah, and I thought it might be fun to see how much you actually do know about prayer. Ready to give it a shot? Hold on. Let me pray first. Okay, bring it on. First question, true or false? God is impressed when we pray using words like thee, thou, and though, and other big words. Hmm, sounds pretty spiritual to me, so I'm gonna say true. So sorry, it's false. Prayer is simply talking to God, so unless you use those kind of words regularly, there's no reason to try to impress him. Whew, that's a relief, because I don't use those words very often. How about thee? No, thou doesn't either. Okay, next question. True or false? The longer you pray, and the more words you use, the more powerful your prayers are. Yeah, sometimes when I pray with a group at church, some people keep talking and talking and talking, and then when it comes to my turn, it only lasts like 10 seconds because I don't know what to say. It makes me feel like I'm not very good at praying, so I'm gonna say true. Hmm, I've been there before, but the answer is false. God's not impressed with long, boring prayers that ramble on and on and on. In fact, our most powerful prayers come from the heart which means sometimes it's better to do more listening than it is speaking. Interesting. Next question, true or false? It's okay to pray to God at any time and any place. Hmm, sounds like a trick question to me, so I'll say false. Sorry, it's true. What? I can't pray to God in the middle of the night. Why not? I might wake him up. Oh, brother. And I can't pray any place. What if I'm doing homework, or playing a game, or taking a bath? Sadie, God never sleeps, and he's always excited to talk to you at any time or any place. Wow, I thought I was only supposed to pray to God at meals and at bedtime. No, but those are the most popular times. Now, last question. The most important part of praying is to ask for what you want, true or false? Hmm, I want to say false, but it sure seems like I do that a lot when I pray. I'll say true. I'm sorry, it's false. What? It's not wrong to ask for things when you pray, but it's not the most important part. In fact, let me teach you a real simple method on how to pray using the letters P, R, A, and Y. Probably not a bad idea, since I didn't do so well on the quiz. That's okay. Let's start with the P which stands for praise. We start off our prayer by praising God and thanking Him for who He is. I like that idea. Yeah, it can be as simple as, Lord, we praise you and we thank you for how you take care of us. The R stands for repent. Oh, you mean like when mom wants you to change the color of the living room? No, that would be to repaint. Repent is when we turn away from our sins and turn towards God. It's an action step for being sorry. And it might be as simple as saying, Lord, please forgive me for being mean to my brother. Hmm, good example. Can you teach that to my brother too? Um, sure. And then the A stands for ask. That's the one we're all familiar with. But asking God for something isn't like 
sitting on Santa's lap and telling him what you want for Christmas. It's not? No, it's humbly asking him for help and to provide for your needs. He's not the tooth fairy. So when he doesn't give me what I want, is it because I didn't pray hard enough? No, sometimes we don't always get what we want or what we expect. Sometimes God says yes, sometimes he says no, sometimes he says we'll see. But whatever he says, it's always the right answer. Wow, that's a hard one to grasp. It can be, because sometimes it seems like he doesn't even hear us, but he does. It just doesn't always make sense right away. So what's the Y stand for? The Y stands for yield. Yield? You mean like a yellow traffic light? Sort of. In this case, it simply means to slow down your prayers and listen with your heart so you can hear what God might be trying to tell you. Well, that's interesting. I'm usually in a hurry just to get it over with. Maybe I should listen more. Great idea. So if we can learn to praise, repent, ask, and yield, our prayer life just might improve. So what about the Skittles? Let's take a look at today's Bible verse first. It comes from 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18, where it says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. You mean we're supposed to pray all the time? Well, yeah, but it doesn't mean we're supposed to be locked in a room on our knees with candles burning 24 seven. It simply means we're supposed to be communicating with God all the time throughout the day. And when believers do this, it's quite amazing. Let me demonstrate this for you with a little object lesson I like to call the rainbow connection. And all we're gonna need is a plate, some hot water, and some Skittles. Now the plate is supposed to be the world, and the Skittles are Christians all around the world. So let's put these Skittles all around the plate like this. And this warm water represents our prayers to God. So we're gonna pour that right in the middle here. Now watch what happens when we pray. I don't see anything. Hmm, looks kind of messy. Well, we can't always see it at first, but God takes our prayers and then works them for his good. See? Cool. Isn't that beautiful? It looks just like a rainbow. I love it. God turned our prayers into something amazing. Exactly. Praying to God is a beautiful thing. So Sadie, what did you learn today? I learned that prayer is not about using big words or rambling on and on. It's simply talking with God and we can do it anytime, any place. Exactly. And when we do pray, it's about speaking from the heart while we praise, repent, ask, and yield. Very good. Now, what do you say we dig into those Skittles? Yeah, I guess we could do that, but it would probably be a good idea to end this episode with a prayer first, don't you think? Good idea. Let's pray. So Lord, we praise you and we thank you that we can come directly to you with our prayers. In fact, help us to learn to pray better by coming to you all day long, at any time, in any place. And we pray this in your precious name, Jesus. Amen. Now, what the? Sorry, Dad. It's kind of hard to pour evenly when your eyes are closed. <laughs> I'll say. A little uneven if you ask me. Oh well, bottoms up. Mine, mine are like stuck on the bottom of the glass. I know, I gave you the ones from the plate. We'll see you around.